Marine to millionaire, three things I had to change in order to make it. This episode of Living Money Smart. You know, Alec or Grunt Style, and you're watching Living Money Smart. I was recently at the Insurance News Net Super Conference uh, here that was hosted by Paul Feldman of Insurance News Net Magazine right here in Schaumburg. And I was associating with some veterans. We had a, a meeting later on and just talking to a bunch of veterans that were transitioning from being in active duty military to transitioning out. And you know, some of the things that they're telling me, you know, a lot of things just kind of uh, came back to me. It was like a flashback. And when I was a sergeant in the Marine Corps, eight years in, three tours in, the things I was thinking about when I was leaving. So I wanted to make this vlog for you guys to understand that, listen, I still think about those things. I still see those things in Marines and service members today, regardless if you're Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, Navy, it doesn't matter. It's all relevant stuff. And, and I want to document these things because no matter what's going on, you have the opportunity of a lifetime in this era to make a ton of money as an entrepreneur. I'm referencing a video that my mentor, Patrick and David, talked about in terms of how to make a million. So check out this video on Valuetainment. And one of the things that I realized that coming out the Marine Corps, and it didn't really change from unit to unit or coast to coast where I was in the Marine Corps or whether or not I was overseas deployed. It's usually the five job guys and gals talk about in the Marine Corps of life after the Marines. And I remember the conversation we have in a Connex box. I remember some conversation we have on patrol, some conversation we'd be having sweating, dripping, thirsty, tired, hungry. And the conversations were like, dude, when I get back, this is what I'm gonna do. And usually those conversations are around several jobs relating around being a cop, being a firefighter, uh, being a postal worker, or being a contract, right? Those those were generally those conversations. By the way, those are very honorable jobs. Uh, nothing but respect for those guys in those professions. But here's what I here's what I see, here's what I realize that every veteran I talk to, man, I'm just so inspired, continue to be inspired that the military continues to, to develop and just create better Americans and better citizens. And what better way for a citizen that's been fighting for freedom to know what it tastes like to be deployed, to be separated from friends and family, to be separated from those that you love and care about and not come back and get the best that America has to offer. You know, I've, I've, got, an, I've got an issue with that. I, I want them to be bigger. And, and maybe sometimes uh, what it takes is an example of success or an example of somebody out there doing it. It just doesn't have to be me, but an example of somebody out there doing that, that, that can guide them and show them and coach them and teach them that inspires them that, wow, I probably can do something better than there's a typical nine to five type of job. And, and guys, I don't want you to settle. I don't, I don't want guys to settle. I want guys to get the best. You fought for freedom. Now is the time to come back and get your slice of freedom. And I'm talking about specifically, be financially, be in a position where you're not worried about money. And, and it's gonna cause you to do these three things that I had to do, I had to change in order for me to finally start making some money. And in this case, start making six figures and now I'm making seven figures a year. So here's the three things. Number one, mindset. What am I talking about mindset? Oftentimes guys and gals set goals so low, okay? Why? Because they don't know why anymore what their new mission is. They don't know anymore what their true purpose is. Listen, when you're in the Marine Corps, when you're in the military, man, I got up every morning, I had PT at five o'clock in the morning, I had inspection, I had this to get squared away, I had these uh, Marines, I had these people in, that I was in charge of, I had these people depending upon me outside of just your friends and family. And for some of you that never had a family when you're in the military, now you have a family out of the military, but these people are depending on you. And so I want you to know, if you really want to stay set making some money, you can wing it, make 30,000 a year. You can wing it, make $50,000 a year. You can even wing it, making $100,000 a year. Listen, I'm in the insurance industry, I got a bunch of guys winging it, making 100 grand, 250,000 dollars a year. Some guys even get lucky, make 500,000 dollars a year. But in terms of mindset, really gets done deeper into your gut. And I'm talking about why do you want what you want? So I was challenged by one of my colleagues during a meeting with the Filipino executive network at the White House. And she asked, Matt, why do you want what you want? And I started coming up with a question, wasn't very clear. She goes, Matt, I'm gonna give you a page from Six Sigma, which is what she learned in corporate America. And she said, Matt, if you really want something, ask yourself why five times because when you ask yourself why five times you actually get down to the root motivation because here's the bottom line when the why is clear the what comes easy i'll give you an example matt why get out the marine corps i want to make some money that's number one why do you want to make some money well because i have a son to prov provide for i have children to provide for my twins at that time i had three overall kids to provide for. so okay why do you want to provide for them anybody else can provide for them mother can provide for them parents can provide them but why do you want to provide for them because i'm a man so why is it important for you to provide your kids because you say you're a man because that's what men do we provide for our our home. We stand up for our families. Why is that important to you, man? There's a lot of fathers out there that don't stand up for the family. They don't that that don't step up. Why do you want to do it? Because I I have pride in my last name. And I remember feeling this this uh, emotion started coming like, man, I stand for something. I fought for the country. Now I'm fighting for my last name. I want to build a legacy. That it was important for me to say, you know what? My kids grow up and they say, you know what? That was my dad. That I realized it was important for me to have grandkids and say, you know what? That was my grandfather. Like especially right now in the social media YouTube generation, like this video, this video will probably be 
watch my great great grandkids and they're crazy because of YouTube and social media and I want my family lineage to know any of my children that's probably watching this 50 years from now I want them to know that your great great grandpa Matthew wanted to stand up for something that our last name we wanted to resonate forever that was my mindset and that's important to me it stirs my soul and what I want to do and guess what that vehicle was for me it was entrepreneurship and guess what I needed to shift I needed to shift my mindset from an employee mentality to an entrepreneurial mentality and that was a mindset shift I needed to make in order for me to start making my first million second thing I had to change for me to go from marine to millionaire is understanding I needed skill I had three jobs I had, I had a, 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 a skills to be a Jiffy Lube head technician I had skills to be a Olive Garden server and I had skills to be a lifeguard at five o'clock to eight o'clock in the morning at the YMCA right and I realized that those skills although it paid the bills to some extent it wasn't going to make me six figures nor was it gonna be in a position to help me make seven figures and the reason why I felt I need to make seven figures based on what I'm learning today and based on what life costs and raising children and having a business making a million dollars is not a lot of money like I haven't started making real money yet so don't think that this is a vlog or a video that's trying to inspire to do this and life is so great at seven figures listen my wife and I are just now feeling some form of freedom with our finances and by the way it took us 36 months to make our first seven figures in business because we picked up these skills and these skills are learning how to invest our money to not just have money sitting in a coffee can or money just sitting in a bank account which is basically a digital bank account so we need to have our money grow we need, we need to make sure that the interest that we are earning in our money was a lot more than the cost of goods and services over time over a period of years I realized that my money needed to be earning more money like I need to make sure my money was working just as hard as I was working like I couldn't have lazy money you know what lazy money is lazy money is like putting money in a checking account and earn zero interest or 0.01% in a money market or a savings account so I need to learn how to invest I need to learn how to make my money grow I need to understand taxes because when I was in Marine Corps is all about okay man you're in combat free zone or or, or or you make an extra hundred bucks 150 bucks because you are a, a, a hazardous duty pay or your you know, sea service deployment pay we need to be claiming head of household because you know we are gone from our spouses for more than six months and we can claim ourselves or her as a head of household and us so there's so many different things there's so many nuances as it relates to just filing a basic income tax right personal income tax next thing you know you start having a business and there's a layer of complexity there am I self-employed am I a sole proprietor I'm an S corp is it a flow through corporation and, and so many things are there and that's why I'm always surrounding myself with people that know more than me and I think a video for you guys to reference because listen and this is an era right now for you to not only improve your financial skills but this is an era now and so many may feel so many different things about Donald Trump our president but listen he's created an era in an economy where we can make a ton of money and our income taxes are so much less so there's a there's a moment right now for you to go out and make a ton of money it's today you should check out this video that I did with Sandy Botkin and we talked about the Trump tax changes and how it can help you because according to him it's go-go time if you're an entrepreneur third thing I needed to change to go from marine to millionaire is accountability now I know what you're saying well Matt I'm in business for my Myself, you know, so therefore I don't have to show up. You know, it's it's not a job. I don't need me control right now as a business owner. I don't need me control right now as a business owner, do I? Well, my friend, you do. We have a saying: treat your business like a job until the business becomes a business. How come so many people take their business for granted that they worked harder for a boss, they worked harder for the military, they worked harder for Uncle Sam than they actually worked for themselves? Somebody asked me, man, well, well, I work 50 hours a week as an entrepreneur. So it's great. I used to run my business part time too as well. Listen, don't underestimate the amount of time necessary for you to finally be financially free don't underestimate the time necessary for you to be a millionaire don't even underestimate the time necessary for you to make six figures so how do you do that well you need to measure your performance listen Patrick Bed David did a fantastic mentoring meeting with my marketing directors and my leadership team right here in Oldbrook and he says what go back six months of your performance let me track back the six months of your numbers in multiple categories and guess what we found we found months we were up months we were down months we were stagnant guess what we identified trends you see what he was doing he was measuring our performance and guess what's gonna happen when performance is measured performance improved watch the next six months of these vlogs to see what we do in our business so make sure you stay posted to our YouTube channel the other area of accountability is are you consistently a student of business now I'm not gonna give you a, a deep down algebraic formula on how to do that but here's one thing I like to dare you with very easily two words Facebook memories is your life looking a lot like the same as it was a year ago because guess what because guess who's gonna remind you Facebook memories this is what you posted a year ago this day this is what you posted two years ago this day this is what you posted five years ago this day eight years ago this day guess what are you still dealing with some of the same things you were dealing with five years ago are you still at the same level in your business as you were five years ago and if you are well you got to change otherwise you're going to stay stagnant so chances are you're not studying anything new that challenges you 
to grow. And some of the things I loved about being part of the Marine Corps, being part of the military, is I was connected to something that was bigger than me. Like, listen, you know, I heard the Star Spangled Banner, I heard American Anthem every football game. I don't know what it was, but for every football game, I got the chills, I got the EBGBs, I got the quiver lip. Like, I got the quiver lip every time I heard on Friday Night Lights or Saturday afternoon football games, the American Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Every time we, we did something in the Marine Corps, I wanted to be the color guard. I was the color guard of my unit. I want, to hand, I want to handle the color standards. I want to carry the colors of my unit, the Marine Corps colors of my unit. I wanted to do that. And so I, I realized that for me, individually, and some of you may feel the same way, that I was wired differently because of our service to our country. Like serving something bigger than myself, serving and providing and defending and fighting for freedom meant a whole lot to me. I don't know for some of you watching this right now, now, it means a whole lot to you too as well. And if you want to go from military service member, if you want to go from Marine to millionaire, guess what you have to do? You have to be connected to something bigger than just yourself. You've got to constantly be a student in business. And in addition to that, it's got to be more than just the money. It's got to be more than money that drives you. You see the mission statement of the Money Smart Movement team is to transform the way we think, feel, manage, and reach towards financial independence. See, it's, it starts with here first. It starts with the gut. It starts with how we start transforming ourselves. I think one of the most exciting words of that mission statement is the word transform. Form. What are we transforming for? It's to become the next best version of ourselves. It's to become a better us. And for those of you watching this, if you want to go from Marine to Millionaire, I hope you choose to become a better version of you. And guess what happens after that? Uncharted territory that's exciting, fulfilling, and something that you can pass on from generation to generation. And guys, for those of you starting off on social media or branding yourself in social media, whether you're a seasoned veteran or a brand new veteran, you're considering veteran entrepreneurship, I don't want you to get jaded just because you don't have a bunch of followers. I don't want you to get jaded because you're going to have a bunch of subs on your YouTube channel. I don't want you to get jaded because you're not, not a lot of people are liking your business on Facebook. Listen, I'd rather you have depth in your finances than depth in your followership. You know what I'm saying? So I've seen a lot of guys, listen, my, my personal opinion, I've seen a lot of guys with a lot of followers, but when it comes to the actual business, not a lot. So before you find somebody to mentor you, or somebody to find and model their behavior, the three things I just talked about, things you need to change. One of the things you want to ask them is, how do you make your money? So for me, I always want to follow myself with people who surround themselves not only with good people that have decent followers on social media and online, but I want to make sure they have a real business too as well. I'll give you a few examples before I let you guys go. First example, first example, Tom Hegna, former army lieutenant colonel, transitioned into the financial services industry. And today, he's got a book called Don't Worry, Retire Happy. He's on PBS. He's got over 70 million people watching him in their household. Why? Because he's stuck to a system, found out what he was passionate about, and helping people make sure that they can retire not only once, but for the rest of their life. He found a passion for it, stuck with it and today not only is he great on TV but he actually has a real business number two Daniel Alaric CEO and founder of grunt Style. I went to go meet him at his local factory when he was still here in Chicago and that I wanted to find out the story not just to see the glory and not only did I get an interview with Daniel but man he welcomed our team in he was mentoring our guys in his office cracking a beer for us kicking back helping us understand how we took 1200 bucks and made a hundred million dollar company and if you're not following him on social media you should Third person I surround myself with, and I think that you should be following too as well, is my personal mentor, Patrick Bet David, CEO of Founder PHP Agency and host of Valley Attainment. We're currently at the date of this video is at 935,000 subscribers, about to hit a million subscribers here in no time. But he's been personally mentoring me the last 41 months. He's helped me incorporate these three things that I had to change, made me feel uncomfortable, called me out when I need to be called out, helped me understand my weaknesses and helped me see my blind spots. And having him in my corner, wow, what a difference. Not only watching him on YouTube, being able to work with him on a daily basis and call him business partner as one of the co-owners of PHP Agency. See him grow, see him develop, see him rock the stage at the Insurance Newsnet Super Conference. By the way, here's some clips of what he said. So you know what? If that's the case. I want women in our company. Our number one earner in our company is in the room. She knows Apollo. She's right here. Yeah. It's all good with us. Okay? We're 51% Hispanic, Latino. Why? You talk about being bold. You talk about being unafraid. Listen, that's some of the same things we did in the military. That's some of the same things that we did in the Marine Corps. Now just applying that to our regular life. Now applying that to the boardroom. Applying that to business and entrepreneurship. And the last thing I want you to think about is doubting yourself. Don't doubt yourself. I'd rather you go out and do. Now this goes out to a lot of guys that think they're inadequate. The moment you stop and stand still and look at the rear view mirror talking about what you went through versus looking at the windshield about what you can accomplish and that's the direction you're going in anyway is the moment you start changing. Is the moment there's a shift in your attitude, a shift in your activity, a shift in what you can expect out of your life and you need your business. So before I wrap up, I want to encourage you to check out these other videos. First one over here is five different ways for you to become a millionaire. And the second video here is how my wife and I made our first million dollars. Questions and answers via live stream we did on Facebook. Because guess what guys, making a million dollars a year 
It's not a big deal. You can get it done. But you gotta have systems, you gotta have structure, you gotta have process, you gotta have discipline. And by the way, military service members, didn't you have discipline when you're in the military? So continue that discipline in your civilian life today. Guys, if you've been watching the video up till now, I'd love to know your feedback, I'd love to know your comments. Please drop them below in the comment section. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted to our next video right here. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like to follow our business page. With that being said, thanks for tuning in and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.